Hello everyone, E here. Welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. Before we actually get to it though, something that in case you didn't notice, the channel has passed 500 subscribers. A milestone that I never really thought about when I made this channel and started this project. So I'd like to use this opportunity really to thank you for all the nice comments, all the appreciation, all the suggestions that you've thrown my way. And as I've mentioned in the previous one or two videos, I believe I'm going to use this opportunity to have a little Q&A with you guys. Any questions that pretty much you want to ask me, you can use this video to post them. And in the next video, I will try my best to answer, well, all of them really. So with that out of the way, let's get to the changes. Here is the current state of the whole great whole rebuild and actually I did quite a lot of things uh, was thinking of doing even more but kind of ran out of time and spent a lot of time building the alternative Hulkbuster over there in the background so let's start with well really all the texture and all the well not all the texture but all the walls on both sides is placed so this one here this is the back side basically the one that's not facing really the viewer and this side on both sides really uh, not all the texture is placed because well mainly because I don't have enough one by sixes which is usually the distance between two pillars now before it used to be four studs now it's six I've ordered a few hundred um, one by six plates which I will cover Everything will look like this basically, and I will use that to build the additional texture, which is here, and a lot of it is on the back side. And I will do my best to actually really will use the photos that I took to keep the texture the same as it was before. That's why this is already done, because this pillar right here, over here, it had this texture even in the old version. So that's a lot of... Uh, Efforts that's going to be saved by me, so very nice. Other than that, I uh, did some little changes here and there on the overall texture. Now it obviously is a bit different as it's 20 or so studs wider, but overall it's pretty nice. And I have completed really the whole row on both sides. We have all the windows and all the frames and even all the pieces. I had some swapped because of colorings, but as I was taking things apart, some other pieces dropped out, so actually managed to finish this whole thing. Uh, don't have to take it apart again to just change some colors when um, the pieces come. So that's going to be fine. And yeah, inside it looks like this currently. I have placed tables and not the benches. I've placed like one or two rows. Uh, that's why you see here the plate basically. And uh, I was thinking of uh, even placing the minifigs, but it just I was leaving it for later and never uh, didn't have time to do it. So probably next time. But over here, the foyer, I pretty much built that. That was the last thing that I did. Uh, connected here the pretty much the texture here because from here to here ish, uh, there will be. Uh, the side building will be coming this way and there doesn't need to be texture over here only this will be visible and same with this side here most of it is covered but you know the last uh, really the last portion of texture it needs to be done and then over here I put the flooring and yeah this is separated by clips this can be taken out and the innovation here is that also this side here can also be taken out because this whole thing is now on one piece and if you really want to take pictures of the foyer you don't have to be restricted only by the gates before if you remember we had the issue of really opening the gates and having to just sneak peek like this but now with this new version I can remove these things all together like this and 
have a look what's going on. The increase of the size also uh, means the foyer itself will be a bit wider. So that's actually a lot better. Now, obviously, in here, the this window is just... I've placed it like this so it doesn't fall off. It won't be like that. Uh, and this whole thing before used to be one row of plate. Now it's two rows. It's a lot more sturdy. And uh, it needs to be because before it was connected, if you remember, to the pillars themselves, but now it's not, so it needs to be sturdier. So that pretty much is all the things that are completed. Um, doesn't look like much, but actually took a lot of time to build this whole thing, watching the pictures, to keep the uh, little details where they were before, build on them according to the size. And yeah, this over here was also, you know, changed a little bit. I think I talked about that last time. The table is now like a inverted C shape, just to support a bit more, a few more uh, professors, really. And what I'll be doing next, really, is, well, the interior, obviously, with the minifigs. And over here, I'll be connecting this with the arches. Most of it I have managed to save here. And the design will be the same, except that the distance between each arch will be a bit bigger. Over here we have a distance of four. Now it will probably be a distance of six. Or maybe I will just add a few more arches, but it would be nicer to have the same amount. And this time we will have just a bigger space so I can reach in, although with this design, you can really reach from here or from here when this is, uh, you know, separated. Now, can I do it with one hand? Probably not. Yeah, it's not a good idea to do it with one hand. But yeah, from here, this whole thing is uh, taken apart. This is on a mills plate. This is removable. The whole floor here from here to the podium is on a mills plate. It's on a rail, can be slid it this way. And yeah, it makes this whole thing even more transportable than it was before. And uh, it will be even easier to make uh, pictures and videos of everything, which uh, is nice because with the new interior, all these things, when actually these pillars here are covered this way, which I'm still thinking of doing it this way, maybe another coloration will pop in my mind, but this looks kind of okay, kind of pops up um, enough and it doesn't, it's not too aggressive and at the same time it kind of goes with the same coloration, adding the dark tan, etc. I think if you have a better idea of this little chest pattern of tan, dark tan to cover these studs, I don't want it to be British brown, I don't want it to be tan only. Uh, this kind of is the best thing that I've well tried. So maybe if you have a, another idea, maybe you should share it with me. It could be something better than this, but yeah, this looks fine to me, at least for the time being. And over here, um, now I'm not really sure. I want to add two more knights here on both sides, but uh, the problem is I really need to see with the arches built here what the height is exactly, just to see it visually, because I don't want the roof, as I've mentioned before. Here is the roof over there. I don't want it to be the same way. The lights will not be connected to the arches as they were before. They will be connected to the bottom of the roof. And before we didn't have lights here. It was only from here to here, which was kind of weird because the foyer was only was lit differently. And I want the same uh, light body that I'm using to be the whole like the whole row. So I want the lights to go through here. So there'll be like a little gap here and the whole really um, a roof will not be separated before we had this section here, I believe, from here to here-ish, that was embedded into the construction this time. I will try not to do that. I will try to have the whole thing removable. And yeah, we'll see exactly how that will go. After I place the arches, I will see, I need to connect these because obviously they're not connected now, like this wall here and this wall here are not connected. 
So I'll try to connect them somehow. They need to kind of talk to each other because these here are not, they are not part of the whole construct. They're removable and this one is connected to the mills plate. So it's not connected to these walls as well. So it needs to be uh, kind of, that needs to be fixed somehow. So it's still removable and these walls are not just flying me there. So we'll probably use some arch arches to connect them like here and then we'll add the um, roof on top of that. At least that's my idea and that's what I'll be tackling um, between now and the next update, I think. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. It's actually a lot of work went into this and we'll still keep going, but I am very satisfied with this. Some people said you're crazy for doing this uh, or I've heard some other comments like, uh, well, most of them were friendly, you know, like in a, in a bantery manner, but still uh, like I, I've, you've built something, then now you're going to tear it apart. Uh, I'm never going to, I would never do that uh, to, bu uh, to build a, a big mock and then just tear it apart, do it again. That's um, just people think that's ridiculous, but you should never be afraid to do it if it means it will make it better because it would just drive me insane seeing something that i done pr be proud of it but at the same time i would see flaws in it and i would know that if i go and redo some things it would be times better it would be a huge improvement why wouldn't i do it because i'm lazy or because it's why it just makes no sense it doesn't matter if it's a mock that's this big over here this thing that i did uh, or it's if it's something like this, if it will make it better, just go and do it. Doesn't there's no rush. There's nobody uh, kneeling over you and threatening you that you they'll harm you if you don't do it. You just need to do it at your own pace. It's about fun after all and feeling satisfied. So you will see that once this is done, it will be quite worth it. I'm sure that if I had done this. The same pace as I did the previous rebuild of the Great Hall, which I did in a week. Like I spent 10 to 12 hours every day for six days, I believe. I took a week off from work and I hated myself after that, to be honest. I mean, I was happy to do it like in one rush, in one sprint of a go. And I, uh, that was really exhausting though. And it was, I hated really myself, so fatigued after that. I didn't really want to look at Lego. But at this pace, it's actually very enjoyable. And I am taking my time and seeing other little things that I could do. And it's a lot better. So both ways work, but you should just do what um, what you like, basically, is what I'm saying. And with that out of the way, I should probably just end this video because there's not really much more that I could say. Uh, place the flooring here. The braziers are back. The reason that these uh, gaps in the floor are because they want to place these uh, two by two tiles that are like one corner missing because that would make sense instead of placing a one by two and a one by one. Um, it just would look wrong otherwise. So I have so, some of those in the mail. Same with over here in the uh, edges. Same reason, they're empty. And yeah. Once again, I want to thank you for all your appreciation of this channel and this whole project. Uh, thank you for following me for the past two and a half years. Well, not, not a half, but more than two years now. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to share them with me below. I will do my best to answer them in the next video. Comment, subscribe, like it if that's your thing. And I will see you very, very soon in the next two weeks or so. Bye for now, guys. Thank <laughs> you.